up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to the podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, a bunch I of more average uh, takes. <laughs> Thanks. Please show me a uh, ETB. No, never mind. Uh, welcome back to Henry's Poke Corner with uh, some average takes, like Eric said. Eric, how's your uh, how's your week going? How's how's your weekend going? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Ate some good food. Worked. P good pools for the week. No. Did you uh, open anything? This yeah, week? I opened uh, a. A singular no, no, no. blister. The, I opened three paradox. Ah, rip pack. Give us a give us a little, yeah. little uh, review of how is it getting better. Uh, <laughs> well, so far I opened four packs. Uh huh. And I've gotten nothing. So oh. it's going about as you would think. As per usual, no. Yeah. Just because you're not the cool. fifth one, though. It's gonna be the Roy Moon. What's your uh, chase card for that set? Um, I don't know if I really have one. Uh, I. <laughs> I want the parasol lady. Yeah, but um, the, uh, yeah, the Rory Moon would be cool too. But yeah. like, I'm not like fiending yeah. for anything yet. The Rory Moon is beautiful, and the more I stare at it, the more I think I'm yeah. gonna pull it. I'm wow. sure I'll start like really, really obsessing over a certain card after it's you know been out for two years and <laughs> um, it's doubled in price. <laughs> uh. We could just buy it at like. 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sorry, I just noticed my contact picture on, on your phone and uh, that's, I don't like that. That's. <laughs> but uh, that's, carry on. That's uh, the podcast. Mm, yep. Screenshot. <laughs> yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> that's what they've seen too then. <laughs> We're going to go into our first uh, question for sure. today's. Uh, this is. Th these questions were kind of old and we just never covered them really. Very broad, but I just wanted your take. I feel like we have covered these. I feel like we have covered these, but I wanted to go a little bit more in detail because mm. you're def you're definitely more experienced than I am and definitely more knowledgeable and you've Don't say that. Definitely Don't say that. You're setting me up. And you're no, I swear. I and, know, but you're setting me up so bad right now. <laughs> and you definitely are more knowledgeable when it comes to Japanese Pokemon. Am I? For sure, because you've opened more. Okay. I mean I've opened Yeah, but I still can't read the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I've all been like slim to none. Yeah, and I've pulled that's true nothing. Yeah, you know I uh, When I first got back into Pokemon I told you about this. I told him about, about the story I went to LA grabbed some mm -hmm. LA Pokemon card mm -hmm. or Japanese Pokemon cards And then we had the conversation and then I went full in on Japanese. It was get it was on the rise, right? I forget what I bought but uh, I spent a lot of money on sing singular uh, five packs from uh, people on eBay, but I didn't know that that's not what you're supposed to do And again, I didn't pull anything because you know how, how uh, uh, In Japanese booster boxes if you pull like say you already you pull the the hit of the box They just store the rest of the singles and be like there's nothing in those I already got right is that that's how it works uh, like more there's, or less. there's one uh, big hit per box. So if you pull the big hit you can just Kinda, You know yeah. give them um, I didn't know that, so I was buying a bunch of uh, uh, sing singles from uh, eBay, and I didn't pull a single thing. I probably spent at least two hundred dollars on, and didn't pull nothing. And I, am I being nothing? Not a single V card either. Oh, yeah, Ooh. it was rough. And I was like, oh, Japanese sucks. And but you've had a different experience. Mm. Uh, tell us a little bit about your Japanese collection. Your experiences. A good experience. My first. Uh... B Star box that I had gotten, um, I got that uh, Giratina. Ooh, so that was nice. Good experiences. How many? Um, how many big Japanese cards do you have? Do you have the uh, the Dragonite uh, Game Boy promo in Japanese? Oh yeah. Or no. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, well, it's, yeah, it's, oh, it's uh, only in Japanese. It's only in Japanese. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, um, other, what other big hitters do you have in Japanese that are considerably, you think, like better in Japanese? I mean, from topic of Dragonite, the Dragonite uh, from Evolving Skies. Evolving Skies. Yeah. Um, nice, nice. nice. Yeah. I mean, just I mean, it's just somewhere more, more texture and more. Yeah, everything's better. Way just these. way different. Yeah, and then I like I said, I think the colors pop out a lot more when I first saw the different differences mm -hmm. in person, uh, in especially in the alt arts. And then, like I told you, I think I was like English definitely has like the as far as like the the print saturation is like a little bit less. The Japanese colors pop a little bit more. The texturing is different. And then as far as the Korean one, it's like super saturated almost like waxy and it kind of looks fake mm. but that that's my evaluation of all three languages but i don't know just wanted like your take quick take yeah, on no, like, I like japanese japanese um, versus english it's a know. little more annoying to like keep up with though 
mm-hmm. just because I mean, I mean, as you know, sets are combined into the English sets. Yeah, and which so, is super annoying, dude. Yeah, um, annoying. I didn't know that for a while, and then eventually I <laughs> yeah figured it out. <laughs> figured it out. Yeah, this place, uh, this box is way cheaper than the other one. Yeah, um, but I mean, I don't know they. On the side note, though, I mean, they tend to be cheaper, obviously. Yeah. And so, if you kind of, if you're looking for certain ones over another, just, you know, like yeah. I'm sure this is not a good example Japanese wise, but in terms of like, um, I guess it is, yeah. Like Eevee, Eevee Heroes versus mm-hmm. the Blue Sky Stream or, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're going for those Rayquazas and Dragonites, you can go for Oh, yeah, because they're one. only in that one. Yeah. And yeah, same perfect. for the Umbreon. That's yeah. why. The EV Heroes, Heroes is obviously is so like more popping than yeah. um, the Rayquaza box. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. It kind of narrows your search. It's but, so yeah, when you're going for four sets versus a Paradox Rift, you know, four or three. There's three. Paradox Rift is, is three. Is three. Yeah. yeah. How do you how do you feel about them being combined into one set as like for us in English? Do you like that or do you do you kind well, of I mean, prefer it, do you prefer the three sets? I, I mean, you can I'm fine with it dial. only because like now i could i mean if i want to choose i can choose yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. um because like just imagine the, f- the fatigue now imagine it if we had <laughs> if you three. an english box for each oh yeah you know that'd yeah. be terrible terrible yeah um but uh so yeah i mean if i i don't know if i want to narrow down i can yeah oh and another quick thing what i was going to say about this topic is i would follow this put these pokétubers that kind of did like the english japanese comparison of pricing mm-hmm. and some cards that i thought i wouldn't be able to afford in english you go and look at them in japanese and they're actually way cheaper yeah sometimes yeah. like for for me it was uh, also. yeah it was weird like i was and i never thought to even look at other languages especially japanese i was like oh dude like yeah. so but the first time i owned the tyranitar from uh uh how they, how they evolved I bought it in Japanese. It was like like 20 bucks, something mm-hmm. like that. And then the um, the Mewtwo from uh, Crown Zenith, or what's it called in, in Japanese? Shiny Star V? For what? Uh, Crown, Crown Zenith? Zenith? Um, the V-Star Universe. V-Star Universe. Uh, I bought that in Japan. I was like, that's like one of the top cards. Why is it like significantly mm-hmm. cheaper? I think at that time in Crown Zenith, it was like, 90 bucks and i bought it in uh, japanese for 50 dollars. it was mm. a huge price difference shout out to that guy i forget what is a uh, uh i'm gonna put your you know i'm gonna put your youtube right there he's giant already but um yeah he just put me on and i was like i i went down a rabbit hole of some tag teams that i've got really cheap in japanese that i think a lot of people are sleeping on no one's gonna watch this they're only gonna watch the shorts but if our shorts continue to do uh 10k plus they're definitely gonna go out and buy <laughs> some of the cards that that we suggest so some cards like the some trainer galleries in japanese and i just like the silver border on them compared to the yellow border mm-hmm. you know i saw a the trainer gallery snorlax from lost origin and I thought it looked way more beautiful with a silver border than. Mm. So we're segueing into the next topic and of. Oh my gosh! Versus... I didn't even see. That's fine. It was smooth. That was smooth. smooth. <laughs> Until I kind of messed it up, maybe. Oh. <laughs> um, but um, so yellow versus silver border. Um, I miss my yellow borders. You do. Yeah, because I mean, it kind of goes into between English and, and Japanese, like just just how you kind of. I mean, depending on what kind of collector or player whatever you are yeah, yeah like if you're buying with like kind of like mixing it mm-hmm. um you have that option yeah like of of either what set you're gonna get from narrow it down or yeah silver border yellow border yeah true yeah, you know true um plus when they it, when they made the silver borders in english mm-hmm. um it just made them all that more special too to me like because now when you know you're, you're opening your pack and you're peeking at the end a little bit yeah see that new hollow on the yeah, yeah, on the border yeah you know now it's like it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> but um <laughs> like Yeah. Back then that it, it would have been exciting. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um the, uh, uh do you notice when you go back and you open like Sword and Shield, like the yellow is like really yellow. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, like, I don't. I, when when you're like when you're so used to it and you're just not used to open like uh, ripping another color. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm probably still more used to opening yellow. Oh, then <laughs> oh, I just only opened four box our packs. So. Can you can you count on your hands and tell us how many uh, uh, Scarlet and Violet era probably. packs? Probably. <laughs> <you've opened? laughs> Maybe mine and your hands. <laughs> be honest, but so you haven't opened. Oh, uh, you know what? No, I've opened a good amount of 151. Have you? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Have you opened Does that a count? No. Have you opened oh. a booster box of anything yet? In the era? No. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Obsidian yeah. Flames. I did. Yes. Obsidian Flames. Yes. Okay. Got yeah, that crap. All right. Yeah. Like I said, I personally uh, like the Silver Borders with uh, Sword and Shield sets. There's some certain cards that I'm. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that silver borders are terrible. No, no, no. I never said. Oh, I never said it. I just there's. I have um, the Gengar uh, Trainer Gallery. I think from Lost Origin as well in both Japanese and English. Yellow border versus silver border looks horrible with the yellow border. That's fair. There that's, are some that's cards. Just, that's that... just my pers sure. personal opinion. There's cards that would definitely look better. But um, silver, yeah. But you know, yeah. they had to stay consistent. Yeah, they had a time. Yeah. And but see, now when you see that uh that Gengar alt art with the silver border, mm -hmm. it feels that much more special now, don't it? Yeah. Point made. Point made. But I'm probably never gonna pull that, Eric. No, well, not with that attitude. <laughs> I'm not you. I gotta pull two. No, and Eric, I'll pull two Gengar alt arts and one fusion strike. Where is it? <laughs> Booster box. Yeah, no one error, but where is it? <laughs> I was on TikTok yesterday and I was looking. Uh, I was looking at a Obsidian Flames Booster box for like 80 bucks, and I was like, Ugh. that's still not worth it. Yeah. But yeah, I was like, how many, how many, <laughs> how many coupons did Eric just like let ride that had like a six hour? They probably gave you yeah, like some well, 30%. No, for real though, it'd be and like you have like six hours or 12 hours to like yeah. claim or to like uh, after claiming. And, and then the the six the the ones with the bigger discount, they give you the least amount. Yeah, of time. so I'm like I'm like, oh that's too much decision. I can't claim that right now. And then it's gone. Uh, it's still but uh um so no, there's been a every day it's, I've not claimed something and if I was like because if I if I was doing uh TikTok ad marketing, I would literally send you all of that, the big ones, because I'm sure you have to like, they're like, oh, you have to like, it send won't out. work on me. No, no. <laughs> they're like, oh, we have to send out like, you have to send out so many 30% offers, right? Yeah. To sell at this price. But then I would just sell to people like you that just don't even capitalize on it. They just put it in the cart and I'm like, oh, this guy's the, never going to buy. This one dude has He's like just, a cart for like three months. He's never going to buy. Claimed every coupon, but still doesn't We'll get him them. one day. We'll yeah. get him one day. You know? Well, no, the point is they don't want to get me. They want to, they want You're going to budge one day. No. Nope. So One day you're gonna slip. Press the. I've done that already on yeah. eBay. Uh, it's not gonna happen again, <laughs> right? They know. <laughs> it's, it's gonna slip and then. Yeah. Like three episode out. three. Check episode it out episode. if you. <laughs> tag, plug. tag will be right I here. I actually I don't know what episode it was, but yeah. Oh, you just just say episode. Three. I mean, I figure you know three weeks in, maybe, oh, okay. maybe four. All right. Check check them all out. This is gonna be a debate that we're gonna have for a very long time, and that's in in this new era versus the older era. And that's gonna be the SIR and the Illustration Rares versus the Alt Arts from the Sword and Shield era. What's your take on them? Do you love the differences? I know we just both Googled what's the actual what? definition. <laughs> actual definition? No. <laughs> <laughs> what's the actual definitions of the two? Because we were kind of in 50-50 territory we knew but we didn't know well, no matter what all tarts are better but like yes. i needed to like back up why yes because in the comments section when when people talk about pokemon cards in the new era on in the comment section like i said they, they say oh sirs are they're all they're all tarts they're better Which they are but like they're yeah. different still. they're different they're different yeah in the sun and moon era what were they called hyper hyper rares I don't Dude, I'm, telling, I'm telling. I'm telling you. I wasn't in that era. I'm telling you this, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna continue to say it. I, to buy cards. Oh, I, wait, wait, wait. I open packs. Yeah, but you're not paying attention. This, <laughs> what we're doing right now, is the first time that I've been like, like, oh, S I R. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. this is going up, and this is going down. Yeah, that's not me, man. Oh, okay. But I mean, I am. That that is me. Yeah. Listen to our takes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. But okay, so oh. Uh, uh, so I don't know. Uh, hyper rares. Yeah. Well, no, like hyper rares are like the rainbows and whatever. If the hyper rare did that go in the X Y era as well? I don't think there was like. No, I don't think so. Okay. I think I think the hype. Well, I don't know names wise. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm yeah. I'm thinking of it solely as like the rainbow card. There needs to be a. They're all just Pokemon cards, and I like them or don't. They're all exactly. <laughs> they're just top Pokemon cards. Yeah. I think like I will forever because I like, hopped in. I'm sure maybe people that hopped into other eras, they're gonna call them like hyper rares to death. Sure. They're like that's a hyper rare. You're like no, that's an ultra. And they're like 
now we're calling the new generation that's yeah. an alter. They're like, no, that's a special. So it's gonna be age old debate, but um, I think the the special illustration rares they're just alters like with 10% more better art. You know, they have they have trainers in them. They have which is better, right? Was is there alters? There's not alters with trainers. In yeah, there are. Nate, which ones? Isn't like that's that's trainer gal. That's not trainer. No, gal. I'm go down, <laughs> go down the list of the big ones. I'm thinking Lost Origins right now. Uh huh. Giratina. Is there one Pikachu in red? Is that yeah? Is that a alt art? Yeah, the V alt. No, no, maybe not. Just a V. It's just a V. Hmm. See, I don't know. I just know cards. Let's go down Fusion Strike. The mu none, none. The Muse, the, the, the Celebi, no trainer. Silver Tempest, I guess there's a guy on a boat. Yep, there it He's is. He's not a trainer. He's, He's a fisherman. You never battled the fisherman no, in the games? No, I battled the fisherman. This is a random fisherman. What else? <laughs> Reggie, uh, what it? Reggie See, Lecky? this is exactly it. See? What? Uh, you set me up now. Every time I'm, that I'm knowledgeable, I I don't freaking know. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm <laughs> like no, my I'm mind's just... going to like the Karen and and Umbreon art, but that's not an alt art. That's just an art. That's a uh, trainer gallery. No, it wasn't. That's a trainer. gallery. The trainer galleries are like the that was a V. Doesn't matter. No, it is an alt art because there. Yes, yes, yes. Tell, okay. Because it's because <laughs> there's the there's the one with uh, like Karen. This, these could be from totally different sets. Don't mind me. <laughs> But like, you know, with her on like the bench, right? There's that one. Yes. But then there's the one That's where not an the, the VMAX Umbreon where she's like laying on the Umbreon. Yes. Is that not a... No. Oh, okay. That's a trainer gallery. No, it's not a trainer gallery. Yes. Because the trainer galleries are the like, the yellow no, border it, ones. It doesn't matter. No, there's trainer galleries that have this, that have different borders. Trainer gallery alt art? Sure. There we go. But they're not the, they're not alternative art. <sighs> I know what you're trying. I know what you're trying. I know. To the, me, the trainer. I thought the trainer guy would draw like the like the Gengar with the person. And there you go. They're oh. not trainer galleries. You have to detect. Like, you know. You can think about the Mimikyu one. Yes. Right with the with that with, person. What's her? I've gosh dang it. That's not a trainer gallery. You wouldn't classify that as a. It's a Mimikyu V. Is that a trainer gallery card? We should have like a intermission right here now. See, cause that's the V. <clears throat> trainer gallery. Fuck. <laughs> so he's a trainer gallery. Anyways. <laughs> Well, I like those trainer galleries. Yeah. See, those don't have yellow borders, so they're nice. Better, it looks better in Japanese, by the way. Okay, I've been wrong. Was that your first L? Probably, Probably not. In the... I think I've had plenty. Uh, my personal opinion is uh, I like the SIRs better. Like I said, we're, we're getting the best art that we've ever gotten in this new era. It's just more, the tech, it's more textured. There's more Pokemon. I don't think they're more textured. There's, I don't think that one's that's, um, I'm, mm. more textured. Mm. I'm showing him a, a, a very modern Pokemon card right now. More textured, more glittery, more shiny. The sh glittery, sure. Yeah, which is texture. Glitter is texture. No, no. Oh, well, how is it printed on? Is it, isn't, it, what is glitter? You can't, you tell me you don't feel the glitter. You, you tell me there's, let me feel I'm your, not touching, let me I'm feel not like letting part. you touch that. Mm. They're great. I'm waiting for Iron Valiant and the Roaring Moon have the alt art feel for me in this new set. I think the Maridon and Crydon, the Gardevoir had the alt art feel, but uh, didn't have that come with the price tag. And that's kind of where my mind separates, Maybe you know, the two. I just don't feel it with them. <clears throat> Are you not a Gard Gardevoir fan? No, that's not what I mean. Oh, well. <laughs> well, no, I guess not. I mean, it's not like it was. She was on my team, like in yeah. Hoenn, but like uh -huh. not a weird. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> what I think it is is the price point. Is that's why you don't feel? Well, I don't. But I don't want to feel like that though. But yeah, you do. <laughs> if Dragon, if okay, if, if Dragonite with a dollar, I'd still love it. I know, but if if and if uh, any of the altars, if the Garatina was sixty bucks, would we love it as much? Because, because, on a side note, compare if you're comparing eras of pull rates, they're very similar. Mm -hmm. So it's not. Remember when we first when my, when I when I first started opening um, this new this new era, I was telling you I was like, oh, the pull rates are great. They're so good. I don't know if I, I was just getting good pulls, 
But once the data came out of like uh, down the line of people still opening up uh, Scarlet and Violet Base, Paldea, uh, what, uh, what's the other one, uh, Obsidian. And then you go look at the the first couple, or not the first, okay, not the first couple of uh, of uh, sets from from um, from Sword and Shield, but just like some good sets. The portraits have been pretty similar, mm -hmm. and I didn't know that. I thought the Scar I thought the Scarlet and Violet era was like Pokemon's way of being like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna give you guys a good time. We're gonna give you guys uh you know just more bang for your buck, and. Now, I mean, there's like I said, I follow multi multiple PokeTubers that have done the research, mm -hmm. and that's what they're saying. So sure. take what I say. I'm just I'm just reporting the news. Yeah, I do. I so do take what you say, for... take a grain of salt. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. Yeah, for I mean, sure. it's already in one year out the other. <laughs> Perfect. To be honest, <laughs> but I mean, they're the ones that have opened, you know, thousands of packs, and yep. I haven't. So that's uh, why haven't you? Uh, this Eric, mm -hmm. this Eric. You're on Team Altar. Yes, obviously, right? Because yeah. I just you, I you have still haven't left. Eric still thinks we're in the Sword and Shield era. Are we not? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm already thinking shiny treasures. You say that, and then next week you'll be like, "Yeah, Eric, you're right. I, I, I bought Fusion Strike last week." Am I still? Am, am I? You you keep, okay? Yes. You also keep going back yes. and forth. Yes. Right. Yes. I'm keeping up. Mm-hmm. I'm keeping up. But I'm also still buying. I'll buy booster boxes buying, eventually. But I'm still buying. Yeah. Fusion Strike. Yeah. <laughs> Fusion Strike's great. You're on your fifth booster box of Silver Tempest. <laughs> oh. um, but yeah, I, I I really like SR. And I do like the illustration rares because um, it's given how we were talking about how we need to give more love to the little guys. Magby got a got a uh, illustration rare card that's damn near an alt art, right? Um, who, who are they? Cleffa? Yeah, but they're not all tarts. But they are, but they're not. The, the Cleffa card is beautiful. Poly, Poliwhirl. We were just talking about that. Be beautiful. Top tier. Isn't, is that not all tart material? If that, if that came out in, in, uh, in the Sword and Shield era, would we not be giving it Maybe. its flowers? Right? But it's different. How so? Abundance. Abundance. That's what I'm just saying. And, and, no, not that's how and, I'm saying. Oh, what yeah. as in as in what? It's just easier to pull. As if there's more of it. Or I don't know. That, I don't have it. So. I just, <laughs> team SIR. I wonder what they're gonna be calling the new ones. I mean, super super duper hyper. Hopefully they just stick to something. Common, uncommon, rare, rare, rare legend, ultra rare, legend, legendary. Yeah, let's just do that. That's, Come yeah. on. That's, I mean, it makes it easy. I, you know, legendary. I mean, that does make sense. You Lugia, legendary. <laughs> Okay, now you're making too much sense. <laughs> the other day I was talking to one of my friends at work. Uh, he's into sports cards. During the two year vacation of, of, from the world, the, the digital trading cards came into, I don't know if you, did you know about this? The digital trading cards that people were buying for a crazy amount of money? You're talking about NFTs? No, not NFTs. I mean, they were NFTs technically, no. but um, they're digital trading cards, well, basketball cards. People were, you own them. And then you would, you literally open a digital pack. It was by Tops. Hmm. And um, but they're expensive. And then say you own like a one of one LeBron James, right? You know what? I feel like I probably did see something like that. Yeah. Do you think how we're getting so desensitized to Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's ever going to be a thing? Maybe I hope not. A digital. And have you ever I mean, opened it's kind up of already a thing? And have you ever opened up a digital Pokemon pack? Um, you know, you think all those code cards I have, I, <laughs> I do one eventually, but yeah. But you never opened no, it? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. So, if anyone wants any code cards, I keep them. I don't use them, but I do keep them. I throw them in the recycle. Do you? <laughs> yeah. That's messed up, man. Someone, someone want, might want them. Who? People want them. Oh, people, <laughs> people play the game, Henry. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> On the pie chart, the tiny little sliver right Yeah, here. right. No. 20%. That's not true. That's not accurate at all. 20%. I think, well, I don't think we're in the minority, but still. They said 80% collectors. Who says that? The pie chart I saw. Okay, where'd you see the pie chart? I'm gonna put that pie chart right here. I want sources. I don't want some PokeTuber who collects it. Just, just trying to say that. Yeah, I think it was a TCG player. Oh. I don't know who they are. Okay. <laughs> That's right. The CC player, I, I, I stand corrected. Um, but yeah, you, so you do think that will ever get to that point? I don't know. Um, I mean, virtual reality is starting to become a thing. But uh, I just want to be fun. Did you see- If you're in virtual reality, it might be. Did you see the virtual reality uh, Pokemon game? Where you literally like are standing on a battlefield and you have like a Pokeball? It was like, it was like a trailer, but you- Is it real or is it like a fan thing? 
Sure, it could be a fan thing. It's but I'm just, probably a fan thing. Sure, but, but if, if you no, can, in, sure. in VR, throw a Pokeball. Sounds dope. You know? I mean, I'm down you for like Minecraft, Minecraft Mon, so I mean. Oh, Minecraft Mon's cool. Is that a, I'm, yeah, Pixel Mon? No. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. actually called Minecraft Mon. I was just saying that. No, 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 I know, but it's, oh. a, it's a thing. For Pokemon sure. Minecraft. Pokemon Minecraft. Um, I tried. All right, uh, so yeah, so you think digital trading cards will never be a thing? In the Pokemon hey, community, as Justin Bieber once said, "Never say never." Never say never. Never say never. Uh, Actually, right after this, I I told Eric um, we should just open up some uh, digital Pokemon cards on the see what he see what he gets. You know. So you're asking me if it's ever going to be a thing, and you're telling me that is a thing. No, no, no. But I'm saying like like okay, you the the set from ten years from now is digital and right? no printed copies. No printed copies. You pull that Dragonite that you wanted. And you have it in your crypto wallet, but you can stare at it and Ooh. it just does that. Is there texture? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, does it hold as much value? No. No, right? Well, I mean, is it the price tag? And you saw how NFTs went. Well, I mean, is it the price tag? Huh? No, let them, let them know how NFTs went, Henry. I don't know. I can show you how much money I made off the NFTs and it's going to be... Uh, yeah? They swear. <laughs> I mean, I won't be into them. No. I'll just screenshot. I think it'd be cool. I think it. I think it would get. I think it would uh, bring different people into the market. Obviously, probably a more adult. But I th but it, what happens if? Okay, like what happens if you got a digital art, right? It's it's a it's a one of one piece. Everyone's fighting for it. You go open kind of like a booster pack, and then maybe you could print it out. Kind of like you would on Etsy, you know, or get like a digital print. You wouldn't you wouldn't be down. I think that's silly. Okay. I mean, that's why that's why we're having this conversation. Copy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, it sounds stupid. Oh, kind of stupid. Well, I mean, just like, well, one, I don't feel like... You're an artist. Sure. You're an artist. If you, say, drew 10 Pokemon cards, uh -huh. right, that got digitalized. Sure. And we all bid on them. Yeah. Are, okay. Uh, okay. That's what I'm saying. Is this... So this isn't a Pokemon company thing. It's a, just people making them thing? It can be. And no, no, this is a broad... This is anything. It could be, it could be someone making them. It could, I'm just saying, is the digital part of collecting, do you think it will ever hit Pokemon? No. No, okay. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of like a weird, it was like a weird question, but. That was weird. But it was just a, a, like I said, with, it hit the sports card market pretty hard and I thought it was cool. Is it still a thing? No. Mm -hmm. There you go. <clears throat> People sold at the top, you know, and it was, it was definitely, but I def but that was during a weird time though. Was a weird time. But that's what I'm saying. Uh uh Pokey Vault was talking about it on his channel. He was like, he's talked about um how we're so desensitized. And he's kinda he said what I said. He was like, Man, I kinda wish uh we just got really good hollows. And then that was the chase card. He's like, what's gonna be from now? He's like, cause I think this was when um the Scarlet and Violet era first came out and he's he got frustrated with the name changes again. And he's like, why is it always, why are we always changing things? Why are we always adding like more? He's like, us as a, you know, Pokemon community, we're just getting more and more. Now you're guaranteed to hollow ho or reverse halls and you're guaranteed a hollow. What's next? You know, is, is we, we've already seen it in the sports card market where they went digital and then the price tag was super crazy. Mm -hmm. Would Pokemon ever ever get like that? I don't know. I think it would be cool, and I would yeah. I would collect it. I remember back to our uh, one of our first videos where like we were designing our own sets. Mm -hmm. I want those regular box hollows back mm -hmm. as the chases. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I think we'll maybe hopefully finally get to a point to where like the less is more again. I think so too. And I hope I hope I think so. Too. That'd be great. I I I really don't know. Or maybe we get like a, a Japanese pack where it's just like. How many or a, a Korean pack where how many cards are there? Five cards? Mm -hmm. Five cards in there? All five are like reverse hollows, one hollow, and then potentially you get a hit. If not, then it is what it is. But uh, I don't know, just kind of a weird off topic uh, question. But uh, when it comes to, you know, thinking of what's the mystery of, uh, of the future. Speaking of mystery, I just wanted to get your uh, quick, quick take on uh, just mystery boxes. Nope. They kind of been popping up everywhere. It seems like on YouTube, PokeTube, and TikTok, and Shorts and stuff. I'm look. They're <laughs> go, no, go for it. They're like alluring. Is that the is that the right word? Like, anyways, <laughs> like like oh, what they get or what's in the box. But like, I just like 
when PokeTubers are like, you know, I just got this thousand dollar mystery box. Like, okay, like it's it's whatever. And then the mystery boxes that that us commenters can like buy like at Walmart or whatever. Obviously, don't trust those. Yeah. I just think it's big hype. Obviously. Yeah. And it's like you know a lot of these people like are trying to sell them. Like I've just seen like not even big PokeTubers. Yes. Yes. Uh, because like I on TikTok I was just because I'm just my whole feed is Pokemon now. Mm -hmm. Like just people are just selling like their own packs like buy my ultra pack and you know see what you get or whatever it's like what like no this, is, I, I, I this would... is basically resealed pack <laughs> like <laughs> you know and but... i would love to know what's like how much how much of that is actually selling yeah and... or you can see on tiktok sometimes oh you can yeah it says oh whatever gosh, sold that's crazy and sometimes it's a lot um but no i mean like i have i done mystery boxes Stop before buying mystery boxes yeah, have, oh but go ahead. Have I done one? Yes. Oh, you have. But it was it was a guy that I trusted, uh -huh. and he he like and he, he saw that support. It was support, and it was also like it wasn't like one of those like oh floor is this and ceiling is this. It was like you know like no you're you're getting like he had different tiers of the prices. Yeah. And it's like it's it's guaranteed like a value. Oh, that's cool. And it's like that's and cool. and in terms of like it's if you paid if you paid a hundred dollars of it, it's not gonna be like you know, a hundred dollars of like the common cards mm -hmm. worth, you know, cause that's just crap. That's horrible. Yeah. But like, you know, these Walmart mystery boxes, they're dumb. Stop. You know, uh, I did get that Vaporeon. <laughs> and then, then I you just told them to, to <laughs> no, 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 I know, but I didn't, I just wanted the brilliant stars pack Copy. and it just had a brilliant stars. I didn't even, I didn't even see that it had the five extra cards. Mm. I just was like, wow, why is that brilliant stars in a weird box? I want, I want the brilliant stars. It's only five bucks. Yeah. Anyway, all that being said, um, buy our mystery boxes, leak in the no, bio. No, there's, there's <laughs> no. So the why I said this was, is like one of the guys I listen to or I, I watch on, on PokeTube, he like is an analytics guy and he just came out with his own and I'm like, bro, come, come on, man. And I just comment, I was like, man, how many of you guys are just tired in his own comment? Why are you, how many of you guys are just tired of them uh, just ripping us off? Analytics guy, I, huh? Uh, I would have been like, hey, show me the analytics of your mystery <laughs> boxes. <laughs> yeah, what's the pull rate? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, come on, man. Like, I'm so yeah. sick and tired. And, okay, um, the, uh, one of the, pot, the Poke Radar podcast, he was talking about how he was, he had him, Coltrane Orion and uh, Pokey, the big one. Rev? Pokey Rev. And he was like, they're all saying like, Rev, why didn't you go after Pokey Chloe? She stole like your packaging. She stole that whole idea like to the T, right? He's, he didn't... He created it. He was the first one, right? To create mystery boxes? No, 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 no. With like the, the color coding bag or whatever? Yeah. No. Yeah. In the t in the space. In the space. That's That was reported, right? Then Pokey Chloe came in, stole it. The packaging is all the same. You know, even this guy that I follow, I, Pokey Jace or something like that. Um, Ooh, his calling him out. His uh, I think I'm not gonna watch this. Uh, his uh, it's just mystery mystery bags, dude. I'm just like, think of something else. Go on to t-shirts. T-shirts aren't a thing no more. People don't want. Oh god, everyone's doing t-shirts. People don't want to buy. It, it is. Of, I want to do t-shirts. Link in the bio. <laughs> but that'd be cool. I'm not gonna slap my name on my t-shirt. No, so. we're not. No, we're not. or like. How like Pokey Chloe just has like pictures of her. Pokey Chloe? Yeah. I'm just tired of him. I, I the only person I've ever wanted to support is uh Danny Phantom. Cause yeah. he's the freaking sweetest dude and mm -hmm. he always does like you said, yeah. I'm gonna you you spend thirty bucks, you're getting thirty bucks. That if you don't pull anything, <laughs> we're gonna give you Yeah, all that being said about like shirts and all that crap. Um uh -huh. my guy uh, that I buy from has yeah, shirts. Uh, he he came out with like he's coming out with sweaters. Nice. Um, and I will be buying one. Oh, nice. But um, <laughs> but they're not like you know his name slapped on them. You know. Yeah. What are they? What's on it? The Pokemon. <laughs> oh, that's cool. How do you? I'll wear it around the house. How do you? <laughs> how do you feel about um, just like redone Pokemon merch, but then just like them on it, like Pokemon style, or like in the cartoon, like Eric as a Pokemon style, but then like. The Dragonite back here. I I'm so tired of yeah. it, dude. I'm so I'm just like we got it. I'm new to this community, and I already know this community has been stale for for a little bit. Yeah. You know, when it comes to especially the merch. Yeah. You know, so not a lot of them have mugs. Cool, no cool, re really cool hats. Just the guy right here. You know, we might come up with some cool mer cool merch. You know, you want to be in doubt? Do do a merch drop. No, too much pressure. <laughs>
No, I just. How are we gonna say all this crap? I'm just saying. I'm, no, I'm. We. You and I would never, ever, throw, recycled. Uh, images, on on a T-shirt sure. and just done it. We're gonna think outside a box. Yeah, you know. What well, I mean, I mean you're clothes. You're the clothes guy, and I'm the artist. For sure. sure. Anyway, yeah. We're saying, yeah, merch. Link in the bio. Soon, soon, link in the bio. But uh, all right, that's gonna wrap up this week's. Oh. We're one behind. We're, we're I'm I'm one week behind. I got. I know the last video. I said Happy Thanksgiving, and it's, it's coming out today. It's coming out today. Thanksgiving was two days ago. I'm not that. It's not that bad. Jeez. It's not gonna make any sense now. Why not? Happy say, have a happy Thanksgiving, and people are gonna watch it. That was two days ago. No one even looks at the mark. Well, you know, happy have a happy Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, catch you guys later.